pinnaces come in all different sizes and shapes um, uh, and there is a range uh, um, of uh, curvature um, that uh, the normal population has. So we normally consider this uh, between 0 and 20 degrees and beyond that um, this can become problematic uh, uh, usually for, for patients. However, some patients develop uh, this penile curvature because of things like Peyronie's disease um, and uh, basically uh, the shape of the penis uh, changes uh, causing problems uh, uh, with sexual intercourse or with body image. Uh, there's so many causes for penile curvature. You can be born with it, this is called congenital curvature, or it can be acquired, and this is uh, called Peyronie's disease. Uh, uh, the acquired causes uh, could be um, secondary to all sorts of different uh, things, trauma, um, and uh, you're predisposed to uh, penile curvature, especially with diabetes and uh, hypertension and uh, taking things like beta blockers as well. Uh, penile curvature can definitely affect your sex life. Um, uh, not only can it interfere with the act of having sex, but also um, interferes with um, fertility as well, as it can affect the deposition of uh, semen. So penile, there are a few uh, um, different treatments for penile curvature. One of them is uh, to use a vacuum pump. You can also um, inject into uh, the um, plaque that causes uh, the curvature in, in cases of Peyronie's disease and we usually inject something to help uh, loosen up the plaque. Uh, there is also um, different strategies like surgery um, and a uh, combination of um, uh, shockwave therapy and injections uh, that we've used uh, in our clinic. Mm -hmm.